what is their name uh, shimi good evening ma'am my name is sunny kumar giri sunny okay. kumar giri it is written here something else so oh, what welcome what to is my written? Written? Uh, yeah, yeah i think it's yes. shimi or something yeah so your name is sunny right yeah of course my name is sunny and mm -hmm. my name is aarti chobe and i'm connecting you from madhya pradesh and i am born and raised in bhopal and uh, i am a masters in english and i am uh, teaching english since 2001 so oh. first i was teaching earlier i was teaching in upper primary classes but uh, recently i got promoted and i am teaching to high secondary and high school classes that is class mm -hmm. 11th 10th 11th and 12th i teach english both as a subject as well as as a language also sometimes whenever my students demands according to their need i just mend my teeth and i love to teach teaching is my passion you can say and if mm. i would like to know about you also okay definitely nice to hear you you are very experienced person so yeah uh, definitely it's my turn to uh, in, like introduce myself it's my time okay so my name is sunny i'm from bihar especially from siwan district and when I, when i talk about this siwan district one thing i definitely i always love to mention that it, it is the native place of india first president dr rajendra prasad oh and yeah apart from yeah apart from him if i tell you about my hobbies i am very fond of playing cricket and i have podophile and green thumb so it's all about me like to know about you so can you yeah. tell me one thing uh, what is the requirement that why are you learning this language is it mm -hmm. out of need or uh, is it your passion to learn this language ma'am it is uh, my passion because recently i have completed my class 12 so i don't have any urgent need to learn english spoken but yeah it is my passion and uh, after a few years after a few months it would be my uh, urgent it would be very urgent for me it yes. can be but so, so uh, before you know now when uh, it would be urgent then that time i can't do anything so i think i should start uh, very uh, you know earlier yes so yeah, it is my passion i can say yeah so i like this thing uh, about you that you are preparing for your future and yeah definitely mm -hmm. And because this language now no more it is a uh, foreign language now it has become like a native language and everyone must be skilled in this language at least they must know the survival english so that they can understand and they can uh, speak a little bit if they uh, if they are in such situation and uh, because there is a whole life before you and whenever you go for interviews or jobs there definitely they will expect this language from you so it's good that you are preparing i like such type of youth because sometimes in my classrooms i see that uh, they are some students they are not very much sincere about this language and they always you know uh, say that uh, hindi is our rashtra bhasha and all that and blah blah but i say yeah i am also indian and i also respect this language whatever may be the situation you must know this language and in the coming uh, i think 50 years mandarin will be the most popular language english will not be the uh, popular language there there will be another language that is spoken in china that is mandarin <coughs> <coughs> so there are so many challenges before you so you must not just stick to one thing rashtra bhasha and all that Yeah, but besides this, this is mandatory to learn other language also. Yeah, this is international language. Yes. Yeah, it is international language, and yeah, it is really very very needed uh, for us whenever we are going to you know uh, where uh, whenever we are preparing for any job, any interview, then definitely we'll have to you know talk and deal with uh, deal in English language. Otherwise, yes. we will not be able to yeah, get the job, uh, the role which is we are wanting to you know get. so these are the things and yeah it is my passion and i have been learning this language i can say that uh, for four month only you know okay. yeah uh, very lately i have started but yeah i have completed my class well so now uh, nowadays i am very free uh, so that's why i am just learning this language and yeah if i talk about yourself you are very experienced you have been doing uh, one thing uh, for a very long time so yeah okay so ma'am okay. uh, 
like uh, i would like to ask you some of the questions which are very very genuine and everybody wants to know whenever uh, they interact like every uh, like every single english learner whenever they interact to anybody a uh, stranger they then that time you know they have curiosity to ask some question to their opponent like you are my opponent now uh, currently so uh, if i ask you a question like when you started your english speaking journey subject is different thing teaching subject is different thing but spoken english is different thing so when you started english spoken so uh, what are the things what are the uh, areas you did uh, so much hard work for speaking uh, okay. i know you start uh, for start speaking yeah mm-hmm. yeah i will tell you so as i told you that i was born and bred and raised in bhopal and there mm-hmm. uh, my parents uh, they they sent me in a convent school to study and in the convent school at that time that means in 70 uh, in uh, 75 in 1975 i was in class 1 then uh, there the convent school at that time they were very strict and mm. we were allowed to talk in english only so from there okay. onwards my uh, it was my it was in my blood you can say or it was somewhere in my subconscious mind english was there because hmm. at that time we were talking in english but uh, when i got married i got job in government sector that to in village so village when i came there till uh, first year second year my english was very good i was hmm. uh, i was very much fluent in uh, spoken english but as as soon as i entered this government sector and there i have to teach everything in hindi only i can't speak even a single sentence in english because mm-hmm. uh, i am not having anyone to talk with so how to improve this language so you know with the time my language started deteriorating it has broken day by day and one day i, I realized that whenever i am in some meetings or in some conferences there i am not able to speak so in the last month of april i decided that now i will brush up my skill i will just improve it and within 6 months i became very fluent because of the practice i started practicing i started uploading now those videos on my channel so practice made made me perfect i can't say perfect still i am learning i have to learn lots of things but i keep on reading i, I am very fond of reading so i just read uh, some novels uh, as i told you uh, i am reading the novel of sudha murthy and uh, alif shafaq and then some of the russian writers are there and i had done my uh, post graduation in literature so those books are still with me so sometimes i read uh, shakespeare sometimes sometimes i read this uh, uh, robert frost and many writers i am having the books so i can read them whenever i need and literature i am reading in the classrooms also so in this way i have just you know uh, brushed up my skills and i can say i have started speaking Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. For for learning English, uh, we need to focus in so many areas like reading part, speaking part, and apart from that, uh, like uh, listening part. Yeah, many of the mm. parts are. But uh, I would like to ask you, which one is your favorite? Like, which one you like to do most? I like to be uh, listening is my best part because it it doesn't require much of your attention. you can just turn turn your mobile upside down and you just yeah. keep on listening very silently when when you are resting or when you are just you know uh, yeah at the time of rest and sometimes when you are preparing in your kitchen as i am a uh, homemaker also yeah, so yeah. Uh, when i prepare my lunch or my dinner at that time i just keep my mobile with me and i just keep on listening i put my headphones and i listen. i i love listen and whenever i travel because it took 40 minutes to, uh, to me to travel from my house to my school so at that time i make good use of listening i just put my headphones and i listen some of the podcast or i listen to gor gopal das then priyanka chopra and many good uh, uh, speakers are there uh, john uh, jay shetty is there you can listen him jay, jay shetty and yes, gor gopal i listened once i have listened once and uh, okay. also priyanka uh, chopra But yes. Priyanka Chopra is very, you know, uh, like uh, in a very, uh, in uh, she use uh, very fragile words, so many fragile words which are very difficult to understand. But yeah, uh, still I listen her, 
and yeah yes. I, I get to know uh, about some few words okay so uh, if i ask you a question like uh, as you mentioned that you love to uh, listen podcast so can you just suggest me some of the podcasts which would uh, help me to improve my communication skill well, like not communication skill english speaking communication english. skill is very difficult yeah yeah uh, one of the podcast I, i i daily listen or you can say that is of jay shetty then one podcast i am not remembering exactly the name that that post podcast runs in three steps first they speak very fluently then they they analyze each and every sentence they tell the meaning of each and every word used in that and the phrases mm. which they are using in that podcast those phrases also they explain very clearly so uh, that i will definitely i will uh, give you the name in next meeting you can listen that podcast it is very simple yeah. very easy right uh, then one of the podcast is uh, uh jay shetty and then one 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 more is there uh ofra winfe ofra ofra winfe she is also ha she is she is a lady and earlier she was rejected but now she is on top of the world so she is also speaking and she is speaking motivational also so uh, both the purpose are served we are listening and we are listening motivational so uh, uh, she is also very good speaker and otherwise gor gopal das is there he is also uh, then sadguru is there sadguru uh, podcast okay. are also there yeah see they speak very simple language and yeah. motivational as well as religious also i get it okay okay so what is the duration of jasati podcast which you have uh, like watched you have watched just said you podcast so what is the duration could you tell me duration it is of yeah. 60 minutes sometimes 40 minutes 50 minutes like that okay so Very how many uh, okay on which channel do you watch uh, his podcast and how many podcast uh, the youtuber have uploaded who have you no know, done uh, podcast with jasati jasati like, podcast uh, on the youtube itself i think he is yeah. having his own channel personal channel रेडी i can say that outside my home somewhere tomorrow we'll uh, talk to you by you know sure. uh, sitting at, at a very peaceful place where i will you know yeah i am not able to i uh, you know speak uh, too much now you know uh, currently because i am very exhausted i have come from the work so yeah. please please definitely tomorrow just, but, but do one thing after listening you just message me which podcast you have uh, listen i will also listen the same podcast and we will talk on that Okay, okay. And uh, last question, I would like to ask you before going. Mm-hmm. The question is that, like, you are creating YouTube videos, like, uh, not creating. You are just, you know, doing conversation randomly uh, with random people and just uh, recording the session and uploading on your YouTube channel. But uh, uh, if I ask you a question, like, uh, which YouTuber nowadays you are just following? Like, they are growing in this sector. In which sector you are? Like, you are also recording video session and uploading on their YouTube channel. Many of the plenty of the YouTubers are doing same thing on Skype even. so which one are you following nowadays which one uh, is your favorite like you are thinking that he yeah he is doing great and his video is getting boost and uh, you know getting viral so which one i don't i don't bother if anybody's videos are getting viral and they are becoming popular they are getting good views i don't bother because i am not uh, doing this all this for money purpose uh, i'm just it's my hobby it's my passion and i want to see myself when i will become old i will grow old then i will see that oh i i just keep on talking with some young guys like you so this will give me a lots of happiness when i'll grow old only this is my purpose that's all okay, okay so bye good, okay. good good night bye. take care